The Lookout Wild Film Festival is this weekend. They say they're bringing a fresh lineup of outdoor adventure films and some exciting special guests. It's at the Memorial Auditorium Community Theater, March 20th through the 22nd. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tickets are five dollars per person or per block, that is, or ten dollars for the weekend pass. You can get tickets at the Memorial Auditorium box office or ChattanoogaOnStage.com. And join us to talk about the festival is Andy Johns. Andy, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thanks for having me. Tell the people who don't, may not know what is this film festival all about. Well, we've really kind of carved out a niche of outdoor adventure and conservation films and really uh, where better to have a festival like that than Chattanooga. There are a couple of them out west but we're really the only one in the east or the southeast that's really focused on outdoor adventure. How long are the films normally? Our shortest film that we've got is two minutes long and it's about an uh, African-American bird watcher and how his experience is different than okay. it would be for uh, white bird watchers. And then our longest film is I believe 58 minutes about a guy in Alabama who canoes from Birmingham all the way to the Gulf Coast. So. It seems very affordable. Ten dollars for the whole weekend is not bad at all. What are some of the highlights you think that you like to say, hey, this is what you really want to check out this weekend? Sure, and you're seeing a few clips of them now. We, I think the variety is just what folks come back to. We've got one, you know, that one is dog sledding in Finland. Uh, we've cool. got uh, mountain biking underground there, um, climbing out in the southwest. One of my favorites is one on Sunday called And Then We Swam. And it's a uh, kind of spoiler alert. Uh, it, they row across the Indian Ocean, or at least Ooh. almost all the way across, and then they swim. You so. told me there's also kind of a tearjerker as well coming up with a veteran as well. Right. On Friday night, we've got a uh, World War II veteran, a film about a World War II veteran who wrote love letters back home to his wife about all the fly fishing streams in France during the invasion and D-Day and all that. Right. And now he's 90 years old. He gets to go back and fish some. I'm getting chill when I'm talking about <laughs> it, but they, uh, he gets to go back and fish some of those streams that he's been wanting to ever since he was you know, a 20-year-old um, soldier. So you got 58 different outdoor adventure films. Is that about right? That's right. Now, how do people find out about this that want to submit their films? I mean, are you guys just growing every year and people learn about this or what? We are. We've After we've been going a couple of years now, this will be our third year, we've got some filmmakers who have submitted in the past we can reach out to. Uh, we've also um, just tried to get the word out through filmmaker sites. We wound up with 275 submissions from 25 different countries this wow. year. Wow. So we've got films, got uh, climbing from China, we've got mountain biking in Iceland, dog sledding in Finland. I yeah. mean, it's, it's all over the place. But there's also a couple of films from right here, Chattanooga, um, North Carolina, Georgia, so quite a few that are right in our own backyard. Now, Andy, when you have more than 200 submissions, how hard is it to whittle it down to 58? That's got to be a tough job. Do you have to do all that? Well, we've got a team of folks that yeah. do it. It's 12 of us, but you know that those odds, all of the films that are in are really good because we had to cut some very good films too, but it's really the cream of the crop in the last 58 or 59 of them. And what do the people that go to the festival think when they get to see some of these short films, some of these longer films as well? What are they, what's the feedback you guys are getting? What we hear a lot every year is um, my boyfriend or girlfriend, husband or wife made me come. They're the outdoorsy person. I'm not. Um, and I just came here because they made me, but I really enjoyed the characters and the story. You know, people expect, I think, a lot of Techno music is somebody jumps they off a like cliff. It's like a Warren Miller kind of <laughs> film, right? Like a ski film. <laughs> right. It's all visuals, but it's there's storylines. There's too. a lot of story, a lot of characters. You know, like I said, um, with some of the stories, there's one about into the empty quarter. These two guys that walk across the biggest land desert or dry desert in the right. world. And uh, you really get to know the guys, and you're rooting for them to finish, and they're funny, and just kind of living, living through their suffering, I guess. You really, uh, you really enjoy it and get to know the guys. Andy Johns, thank you so much for coming in. Thank and you. Again, it's this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Memorial Auditorium. Great. Thanks. We'll be right back.